This is the tutorial for the slop. So to start this trick, you can have the spectator shuffle the cards or you can shuffle them yourself. So it's a completely impromptu card deck. And after you shuffle the cards, you can have a spectator choose a card out at random. So let's say in this case, they chose the king of spades. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to control their card to the top of the deck while making them think that we got it lost somewhere right in the middle of the deck. And of course, there's many ways to do this. I'm going to be teaching the easiest way in this tutorial because this is a class for beginners. So you can start by cutting the cards in half and the spectator is holding on to their card right now. And then you want to ask them to place the card right in the middle of the deck. And then you can bring this packet over and we want to place it on top. But we don't want to just bury it in the middle of the deck. We want to catch a pinky break right above their card. So we want to put our pinky just the tip of our pinky right above their card so that when we place the rest of the cards here, we create a separation. And from the front, we want to try our best to make it look like there's no separation from the front. So again, we can have the spectator place their card right in the middle of the deck. And we want to stick our pinky in just a little bit and we can bring the rest of the cards and place them on top. And we can use our thumb to push down on the deck so that it looks flush from the front. Now, from here, we can take half of this packet up here, so half the packet above our pinky break, and place it down on a table. And then we can take all the rest of the cards up until our pinky break, and place them down, and finally take the rest and place them on top. Now what we just managed to do is we got their card to the top of the deck. Now the second part is we want to get their card to the bottom of the deck, and this is actually really easy to do from here. So you want to get in this position like you're about to do an overhand shuffle. So holding the deck with your right hand, you want to use your thumb to slide off the top card, which is their card. So from the overhand position, um, from the position where you're about to do an overhand shuffle, you can just slide their card using your thumb into the bottom of your hand, and then you can keep going with the rest of the cards like you would do a regular shuffle. And now we manage to get their card to the bottom of the deck. Now from here, you can explain to the spectator that you're going to do a really crazy type of shuffle just to make sure the cards are really mixed up. And holding the cards in your left hand, you want to bring your right hand over and you can use your thumb to push out a few cards and flip them over with your right hand. And then push out a few more cards and flip this packet again over with your right hand. So notice that only my right hand is doing the flipping here. So then more cards, flip, and more cards, flip these over, up until, uh, up until we get to the bottom card. And the bottom card, we can just place it on top just like that. And what we managed to do is we actually created two packets. So we're not actually shuffling the cards like you think we are. So we're just making two piles, one that's all faced up and one that's all face down with the spectator card on top. Now from here, you're going to notice that there's a separation, a natural separation in the cards between the two packets. And this happens because naturally a deck of cards kind of um, con like gets concave down. And if yours isn't, you can actually just, um, you can just bend your cards a little bit, just like that. Now, you should notice the separation happening between the two packets of the cards. So you want to start by taking some cards from beneath the, the separation, and you can tell a spectator, oh, notice how we have some cards facing down and facing up. And then you want to take cards, you want to split the cards above the separation, and then you can tell them, and we have cards that are facing up and facing down. And finally, you want to split the cards at the separation. And here you can say, oh, and we also have cards that are facing down and facing down. Now from here, you don't want to return this packet right back on top. You actually want to flip it over. And what we're doing here is we're returning all the cards to the regular position except for the spectator's card. And now from here, you can um, fan the cards out just like that. And you can show the spectator that only their card is face up. Or if you don't know how to spread them like that, you can just go through the cards like so. And that's of course gonna be a really powerful moment because you just showed them that all the cards were sloppy and some were face up and face down, but now all of a sudden only their card is facing up. 